Well, if you're afraid of things that go bump in the night, then the thought of spending the evening in a haunted house would terrify you. Well, the new Aussie film Muir House is based on actual happenings at the spooky Mont Cristo homestead in New South Wales. So inspired by the movie, we sent intrepid reporter Sean Lynch there to find out what goes on when the lights go out. Wicked people had just come in the front door and lose it and say, I can't stay here, I've got to go out. We were just here for about a minute and an incident happened. We had people come in here, get severe headaches. As soon as they get in here, they can't stay in the house. I'm not hesitant to be here, but I'm not staying with you guys tonight in the house. <laughs> not, 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 no. I'm here at the Monte Cristo homestead, said to be one of the most haunted houses in all of Australia. There's ghost hauntings, there's even been possessions here. And guess what? Someone died right there on the front step. Kind of creepy. Guess what? Slightly shooting myself. The homestead provides the unsettling backdrop for the horror flick Muir House. And the director, Tan Rahim, along with lead actor Ian P.F. McDonald, have been more than a little unnerved by the strange goings on. I spent four days, well, for correction, four nights uh, in the house. The thing is, frequently, just as you're dozing off, you'll get woken up, sheets being pulled, pressure on your chest, shaken, pushing through the beds, all sorts of things. Uh, the first night of shooting, we were wrapping up, and uh, I was upstairs turning all the lights off, and I actually saw the ghost of Mr. Crawley standing in the doorway looking at me. And I ran. I ran as fast as I could. I ran down the stairs. I turned off all the lights, and I didn't tell any of the crew <laughs> until we finished shooting. That is, that is quality direction. I had a film to make. <laughs> Reg Ryan, who has lovingly restored the property, has lived in the home since the 1960s, and he says that the original owners, Mr. and Mrs. Crawley, have definitely made their presence felt. The first thing was coming home and see light streaming from every door and window of the house. That was on about the third night we were here. And if anyone can explain that one to me, they're better than I am. Because the house had never had electricity on it. We owned one kerosene light and it wasn't even lit. <laughs> Brisbane psychic Juliana senses many entities in the house, including a little boy. Um, he's actually been with me for a few days prior to us coming here, but he keeps saying to me that he's he's Lad Morris. Well, there was a family by the name of Morris work here, mother and father worked, and the son, and he would have been Lad Morris. And he's very, very specific here about that he was sleeping on a straw mattress, that that was actually set on fire. And he didn't get up for work one morning, and he said he was too sick. The boss thought he was acting, set fire the straw mattress, and the boy was burnt to death. Yeah. Mrs. Crawley is literally standing right here. She actually thinks you're, you're a joker. She's a very snappy woman. Oh, sorry. She's very I'm snappy, so you'd want to stand up straight. Okay. And watch your tone. She's quite particular about the way you address. Now, admittedly, going in, I was a bit of a sceptic, but after spending the night at the creepy Monte Cristo homestead, I'm a believer. Ah. <laughs> it's uh, just after 2.30 uh, I probably shouldn't be. Hink down to the <laughs> hink down to the cellar. It's, uh, it's a bit scary. If you listen closely, you can hear the ghost of the circle. <laughs>